the hustler narrative is not about the rich versus the poor. Do you understand? The hustler narrative is not, in fact, the people who want to destroy the hustler narrative are the ones who are telling us William Ruther is not a hustler because he's not a poor man. A hustler is not a poor man. Do you understand? A hustler is a hard-working Kenyan who is ready to work hard and do the right things. You know, wake up early, sleep late, do the right things, and climb the economic ladder. Do you understand? William Ruther seated here came from a very humble background. William Ruther seated here was selling chicken by the railway station one day. Today, he is the deputy president of the Republic of Kenya. That is the history of a hustler. So, don't buy the idea that, oh, William Ruto is not a true hustler. William Ruto came from a very humble background. Do you understand what I'm saying? William Ruto wore his first pair of shoes when he went to secondary school. And he could not afford the butter shoes. He went and bought the shoes that are made on the roadside at the veranda by a Mr. Onyango. But it tells you a nation of possibilities. It tells you that it doesn't matter where you begin. It gives hope to even the child of a single mother and the child of every ordinary Kenyan that it is not where you start from. It is possible to get to the highest if you put in hard work, commitment, and focus on what you do. Do you understand what I'm saying? James Mwangi of Equity Bank built Equity Bank from a building society. I went to his office at Four Way Towers when it was a building society. It was not even a bank. Today, it is the largest bank in Kenya. That is the story of a hustler. Do you understand? Abraham Lincoln the 16th or 17th president of the United States, 16th, president of the United States, so many years ago, talked about a hustler. He 